Hello guys, so uh, this is another video. We are talking about uh, video encoding and uh, especially AV1 encoding as it is a very hot topic among uh, the streamers. Uh, some of you may have noticed and uh, checked out uh, my previous AV1 tests while it was in development. I uh, even did some uh, testing with uh, AV1 over FF MPEG when it was a uh, uh, a kind of a hack to to use with uh, with uh, with the OBS, but the main issue then was that the major uh, streaming platforms did not support uh, AV1. So uh, more or less, even if you streamed something with AV1 uh, directly to to their uh, to Twitch or YouTube for higher video quality, eventually uh, your uh, video was transcoded to either. Uh, VP9 if you are a partner or a, or a better a higher level user uh, or uh, to to the uh, AVC o on YouTube or what what, what the, the cheaper codec on, on uh, which is I, I'm not sure so in this video uh, I have uh, uploaded uh, or sh shall I say installed the newest update for the OBS 29.1.1 uh, and uh, this update uh, finally allows us to use uh, OBS streaming uh, with software AV1 so uh, what we are exactly talking about so uh, some of you know that uh, newer GPUs from NVIDIA and AMD uh, provide hardware encoding for AV1 which is a real boon and every uh, shall I say serious uh, live streamer worth his salt will be using uh, will be buying a new GPU and using the uh, hardware encoder for maximum stability maximum speed and uh, performance and uh, of course quality uh, you see the main issue with uh, AV1 encoding while it is uh, uh, a better encoder uh, than H.264 uh, in terms of uh, both uh, quality of video and uh, lower bitrate, but it, it is very demanding. So you you just uh, have to have a really beefy PC to run AV1 uh, with your uh, with your uh, single PC doing the game and live streaming at the same time. Uh, if you are live streaming for, from one PC and then coding the video with another PC that is re reasonably uh, fast and not doing anything else, then you can get away with AV1 encoding the software side. So, uh, if you have checked my about section, you, you would note that I do have Ryzen uh, 5900 X for some time now. And... Uh, this is the reason I have uh, tested the AV1 encoding before, but now uh, that the update is here, we can really test the live, live encoding. And uh, let's check out my uh, OBS settings that I have prepared. Uh, so you can note uh, in the output streaming section, uh, at the moment, I have set encoder to AV1. Uh, we are live streaming at the moment with, with AV1. Uh, 1440p resolution. Quick uh, jump to the video section. Uh, you can see uh, it's 30 FPS and uh, 4040p now, but we will be uh, swapping, uh, switching later but uh, let's get back to the back to the encoder settings rate control is uh, constant bitrate bitrate is uh, uh, 13 megabyte uh, and 450 kilobytes i leave some uh, bandwidth for the audio encoder to to have the to have enough uh, room to to stream and uh, uh, the rest of the settings are minimal there, there, you can't actually can't uh, choose ma uh, many settings. The most important is uh, uh, to have uh, keyframe interval at auto. Let the encoder handle that. 
and using preset uh, for speed. The not bad speed is the, the faster AV1 encoder. So going with any of the uh, like uh, fast, this is like fast, medium, uh, slow, uh, slower and very slow. These won't be usable unless you have a thread ripper or something like that. Uh, so uh, encoding live on your PC with say uh, 10 or, or 12 cores, you can expect to get away with mm, not, uh, not bad speed. The 11 uh, value for, for the video encoder preset. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. Uh, now I'm going to uh, briefly stop the, the stream so I can uh, load up a game and continue streaming into the same live stream and see how it handles. Okay, we are back with the uh, live stream. Uh, so I am streaming with uh, 60F. Hello, hello. I'm Arif Iqbal, and you're watching WNS News. New details have emerged on the attempted abduction of Hanako Arasaka at the Arasaka-sponsored Dashi Parade. Okay, are we back? Let me check my stream health. Yes, I can see uh, both the OBS and uh, YouTube st Studio receiving data. So, uh, now you will notice on the NVIDIA Performance Overlay 60 FPS uh, and we are streaming live. SVT AV1 with the faster settings. Uh, I am not receiving any issues with uh, YouTube Studio. Do bear in mind this is uh, the YouTube uh, RT uh, MP 1440p ingest. And uh, it can handle, I think, up to 16 megabytes. Megabytes of megabits of uh, bandwidth. Uh, since I am streaming with my main monitor, not directly from the the API of the game, I can also show you my PC, uh, PC CPU usage. You can see it's uh, banging like 70 to 90 percent uh, CPU usage. So I guess that is expected. Uh, because we are encoding directly from the CPU and playing the game directly on the CPU, uh, you have to be a bit conservative. You have to, uh, I guess, limit the game game frame rate in the in the NVIDIA control panel or Radeon uh, software to ideally to the 60 FPS, uh, so that it doesn't go higher even if the PC can push it. Why? Because you want some, you want some uh, PC performance uh, to be there to alleviate any spikes in uh, encoder uh, performance. Um, I guess this is a, a halfway solution of course. Using a hardware encoder is a better option but you, I guess you can get away with this. So, for for example, this is a 1440p. Here is the video, 1440p, and graphics ray tracing low. So, uh, with ray tracing low in my 2070s, I am able to run around uh, 60 FPS, and it's exactly what what I can uh, synchronize with the encoder, and it's good. It's playable and uh, now let's let's see another scenario. So uh, some Twitch players would note uh, that their uh, their uh, maximum bitrate would be 
6 mega, megabyte, megabits, not uh, uh, 13 or 16. Uh, so now I'm going to drop the, the OBS setting to, to a lower level and uh, try a 30 FPS encode. We'll be back in, in now on, a, on a lower bandwidth. I'm on uh, 1550 kilobits. Uh, while I, I do have the game still running at around 60 FPS. And let's see the CPU usage. It's significantly lower. It's ranging from uh, 40 to 70 percent average. So it's not 70 to 90 percent. It's not maxed out, maxed out anymore. Uh, why I wanted to show this? Well, uh, I know that Twitch limits users to 6 megabit. Uh, upload and uh, that would be the sweet spot for 60 fps 1080p since i'm uh, streaming at 40 p uh, i wanted to show that it's doable i guess uh, 1440p at uh, 30 fps is uh, the bandwidth similar to 1080p 60. so uh, any one of you Owning a nice beefy uh, 509, uh, uh, 5900X Ryzen or any of the newer DDR4 CPUs should be able to run SVT AV1 with the faster preset, that is what we said. So these are the encoder settings now. Video is 30 FPS. Output is only uh, 7.5 uh, megabits. I leave some uh, bandwidth for audio encoder to fit in up to 8 megabits. Preset 11, that is the faster, not the fastest, but the faster. Not the fast, but the faster. And we are live. Um, is this a good solution for you? Well, if you don't have a hardware encoder, then that is your only this is your only option. Uh, and uh, this is what I wanted to show uh, due to a request from one of the uh, channel followers. Uh, as he did uh, mention, he has uh, trouble having uh, a good quality of the uh, video quality of the stream on the Twitch with 6 megabits. So he asked for a solution. I would do it like this. Uh, he also has a uh, 5900. Uh, 5, uh, Ryzen. Uh, anyone owning a DDR5 five no newer platform like Ryzen 7600 uh, or 7900 uh, uh, should have no problem uh, doing this also. Again, if you are running uh, 14, uh, 144 FPS or high FPS gaming, I think it won't be viable, you will have uh, issues with uh, encoder running out of CPU time and uh, dropping frames, but if you limit your games to 30 or uh, 60 F FPS how are you streaming anyway, you should be able to do it like I did now. Uh, I guess I could show uh, another game, but Cyberpunk uh, at ray tracing is already demanding enough uh, that I don't uh, need to fire up Forza Horizon or something else. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave me some comments. Also, if you want to see another game streamed like this, also give me your suggestions and I will try to uh, fulfill your uh, requests. Hope this uh, video was enjoyable for you. 
Uh, if so, please give it a like and uh, follow my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching.